Hello everyone, I am Lord Shrigam. And I am Granny and today... No, 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 I do the intro, okay? What? Okay, okay, you can do the intro. Very good, grandson. I am Granny and today we're gonna make me from... What is this thing called? Uh, Paul McClay. From Billy McClay. <laughs> oh, okay, can, can you go now? <laughs> Granny will have an eye for you. Okay guys, so let's get started. As you see, we have a special guest here, but anyway, let's focus on our sculpture. I decided that in this figure, I'm gonna use all my waist clay from all previous figures. If you decide to make a granny with me, you can of course use aluminum foil if you don't have any waist clay. I made a simple shape of granny dress and now it's going on my tray and it's going to the oven. Have you finished? No, I just started. I invited you only to make the reference photos of you. Don't have a room here. What? Okay, you have. Good grandson. Ah, uh, I guess now I have to ventilate my room. But anyway, now I'm making the color for the granny dress. I mix white and grey and some of the black to make the perfect grey color of her dress. And now guys, when I have my color done, I'm starting to covering the granny armature with the proper color and slowly we're going to make the shape. I love cutting the shape of sculpture using this blade, it's so satisfying. I hope it's also satisfying to you watching this and as you see right now I don't waste any clay because if something will drop on the floor I will reuse it on this sculpture because as you see granny is a little bit dirty so I hope she don't mind if I dirt her a little bit more that's why I just take some dust from the fan and now you see that I am gluing again the armature to the base because I forgot to put a liquid glue clay on this so now I'm using the very strong glue to connect those two pieces together I could skip it but I like when the figure on the vise is solid, it's not moving, so for that reason I just glue it. And now guys, I'm doing... Uh, what I'm doing right now? Ah, I know, I'm doing the color for the hands and for the face of our granny, but before I do that, I just make some details on her dress or on her pyjama. I hope it's not pyjama and she won't be sleeping in my house today, but let's don't think about it for a second and let's focus on our creation. This part was so fun to make, it was like carving in the wood, this is just folds on granny pyjama and I really hope that it is a dress, not a pyjama. But guys, um, I was recently reading your comments and I saw one comment that somebody was asking about the overbaking. Someone was curious if he 
bake three times the same part or maybe even more than three times the same part what will happen will it crack or not the answer is if you're using uh, color polymer clay like Fimo, Fimo Professional, Fimo Soft, whatever, I think it won't crack. If you're using the gray clay like Scalpy, it might actually crack, but if you're using color clay, it won't crack. But it might just change color to darker. I remember when I was making the Cuphead at Magman, I actually in that video baked them a lot of times and the white color that they have on their base changed to grey. So it just happens, I usually make a color a little bit more lighter than it is in pictures because I know that the color will a little bit darken after the baking. But back to our sculpture, I'm making the beautiful lips of our granny and her golden teeth, golden or yellow, maybe yellow, for sure yellow. Oh my god, it looks so creepy right now. Guys, I really enjoyed uh, making horror characters lately. As you seen on the channel, my two recent videos was from horror games and also the granny. If you have any suggestions from which horror game make character next, make sure to leave a comment below with your suggestions or suggestion. And now the eyes part. As you see, the black thing that I just put under her eyes, I don't have idea what it is, but it makes eyes look more beautiful, <laughs> more better. And the hair of the granny, beautiful, healthy hair. Guys, you actually need to write more comments so I can answer them in the video. That's what happened if you're not writing comments under the videos. I'm talking nonsense. Let's focus on our sculpture. Maybe this time I will tell something that makes sense. Now I'm making the uh, collar. I'm not sure. Let me check on the Google Translator. Yeah, I was right, it was cola, I was making cola, and now is the part for the ear holes, ears are very important because without ears you won't hear anything. Hungry. Okay. Granny will make you a delicious dinner. <sighs> this granny, I hate her. And our figure is looking like a pope. What the heck is that? It was supposed to be a granny, not a pope. Uh, okay, I will change the title, it will be un Making Undead Pope and for the thumbnail I will split it on two, 
on the left side will be the real face of the Pope and on the right side will be this figure okay guys let's go with this Pope now I'm making the hands the right hand will be a little bit longer I mean the aluminium wire is longer on the right hand because on the right hand granny is carrying the baseball bat and now I'm making the color for the baseball bat and I'm adding the shit of clay onto the aluminium wire and by saying shit I was in mind the sheet like a sheet of paper so we got a sheet of clay when it come out of my clay machine who's there? Yummy! Oh. oh, guys, that was worse than the bacon soup. Ah, but back to our sculpture. I'm making the tiny and 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 I again don't know the word. Wait, I need to use the Google Translator. Button, knob, tiny knob. And after making the tiny knob, tiny button, I place the granny onto the baking tray and add some bottom of her dress slash pyjama. And now I'm smoothing the surface with the brush to get rid of the fingerprints, imperfections and things like that. And now I'm smoothing the face of our Pope and right now I'm just grabbing some dust from my fan and I smear it onto the granny. I actually doesn't have enough dust on my fan so I have to go to the attic and just grab some dust from the floor and all over the place where I don't usually go and after the baking there is time for the blood stain on her baseball bat Thank you.